Aircraft carriers. These colossal vessels are the epitome of naval power and strategy. They're the big dogs of the ocean, dominating the seas with their sheer size and capabilities. Massive, powerful, and packed with more firepower than most countries can dream of, these floating fortresses are a testament to modern engineering and military prowess. These ships are a symbol of American might, projecting force around the globe. They serve as a constant reminder of the United States' ability to project power anywhere, anytime. But their importance goes beyond just looking tough. They are strategic assets that play a crucial role in both peacetime and wartime operations. Carriers are vital for a whole bunch of reasons. They provide unparalleled flexibility and mobility, allowing naval forces to respond quickly to emerging threats and crises. First off, they're mobile air bases. These floating airfields can move to where they're needed most, providing air support and launching operations far from home shores. Need to launch airstrikes halfway across the world? No problem. A carrier can sail right up and get to work, delivering air power wherever it's required. This flexibility is crucial for responding to crises and keeping the peace. Whether it's a humanitarian mission or a combat operation, carriers are always ready to deploy. This ability to project power and respond rapidly makes them indispensable in modern naval strategy. Second, they're packed with planes. We're talking fighter jets, bombers, helicopters, you name it. This diverse air wing allows carriers to perform a variety of missions, from air superiority and ground attack to reconnaissance and search and rescue, the aircraft on a carrier can handle it all. This air wing acts as the carrier's first line of defense, taking out threats before they even get close. It's a formidable force that ensures the carrier's safety and effectiveness. And finally, carriers are tough, like really tough. They're designed and built to withstand incredible punishment from enemy attacks to harsh sea conditions. Their robust construction and advanced defense systems make them incredibly resilient. Sinking one is no easy feat. In this essay, we're going to dive deep into why sinking an aircraft carrier, especially one of the newest Gerald R. Ford class carriers, is about as easy as drowning a battleship in a bathtub. These marvels of engineering are designed to survive and thrive in the most challenging environments. Imagine trying to hit a moving target. Now imagine that target is not just moving but also heavily armed and ready to defend itself at all costs. This is the challenge faced by anyone attempting to attack a modern aircraft carrier. These colossal ships are bristling with guns and missiles all aimed at you, ready to unleash a barrage of firepower. The sheer number of weapon systems on board is staggering, each designed to handle different types of threats. Attacking a modern aircraft carrier is like trying to storm a fortress on the move. These ships are not just floating airstrips, they are heavily fortified bastions of defense. The defense systems on these carriers are multi-layered, creating a formidable shield. Each layer is designed to intercept and neutralize threats at different ranges and altitudes, making it incredibly difficult for any attacker to get through. First up, you've got the long-range defenses. These systems are the first line of protection, designed to detect and engage threats from a distance. Advanced radar systems scan the horizon looking for any signs of incoming danger. The carrier's air wing is like a swarm of angry bees, ready to intercept anything that comes within spitting distance. These aircraft are always on high alert, patrolling the skies and ready to engage any potential threats. They've got fighter jets to shoot down enemy planes, ensuring that the skies around the carrier remain secure. These jets are equipped with advanced weaponry and are piloted by some of the best trained aviators in the world. Bombers are also part of the air wing, ready to take out enemy ships and ground targets. These aircraft can deliver devastating payloads, crippling enemy forces before they can get close to the carrier. And let's not forget the helicopters. These versatile aircraft are used for a variety of missions, including search and rescue operations, anti-submarine warfare, and even medical evacuations. Then there are the missiles. These are the backbone of the carrier's defense, capable of intercepting and destroying incoming threats with pinpoint accuracy. The evolved Sea Sparrow missile, or ESSM, is like a heat-seeking fly swatter, designed to take out incoming anti-ship missiles. This missile is incredibly agile and can engage multiple targets simultaneously. And if anything gets past the ESSM, there's the Rolling Airframe Missile, or RAM. This missile is designed for close-in defense, capable of intercepting threats that have managed to slip through the outer layers of defense. The RAM is quick and agile, perfect for knocking out those last-minute threats. It's like the carrier's final safety net, ensuring that no threat goes unchallenged. And finally, there's the close-in defense. This is the carrier's last line of defense, 
designed to protect the ship from threats that have managed to get through all other layers. Think of this as the carrier's last stand. If a threat gets this close, it's up to these systems to neutralize it before it can cause any damage. The Phalanx CIWs, or Close-In Weapon System, is a Gatling gun on steroids. This system can fire thousands of rounds per minute, creating a wall of lead that shreds anything that gets too close. It spits out a stream of bullets at an insane rate of fire, ensuring that no threat can get through unscathed. This is the final layer of the carrier's multi-layered defense system, a testament to the ship's formidable protective capabilities. So we've talked about the weapon systems, but what about the ship itself? What makes an aircraft carrier not just a floating airbase, but a fortress at sea? Well, aircraft carriers are built like tanks. They are engineered to withstand the harshest conditions and the most formidable threats. They're designed to take a beating and keep on ticking. Whether it's rough seas, high-speed maneuvers, or even direct attacks, these ships are built to endure. One of the key features is compartmentalization. This design principle is crucial for the ship's survivability. The ship is divided into hundreds of watertight compartments, so even if one area is damaged, the rest of the ship can stay afloat. This means that a breach in one section won't necessarily spell disaster for the entire vessel. Then, there's the armor. The most important parts of the ship, like the engine rooms and ammunition magazines, are protected by thick steel plating. This armor is not just for show, it's a critical component of the ship's defense. This armor is designed to deflect or absorb even the most powerful explosions, it's tested rigorously to ensure it can withstand the worst-case scenarios. And let's not forget about redundancy. Redundancy is a key principle in the design of these ships. Critical systems like the engines and electrical systems are duplicated. This means that if one system fails, another can take over without missing a beat. So if one system goes down, there's a backup ready to take over. This redundancy extends to many aspects of the ship's design, ensuring that it remains operational under the most challenging conditions. It's like having a spare tire in your car, you hope you'll never need it, but it's good to have just in case. This principle of having backups is what makes these ships so resilient. You hope you'll never need it, but it's good to have just in case. Regular maintenance and drills ensure that these backup systems are always ready to go. And finally, there's the nuclear reactor. This is what sets modern aircraft carriers apart from their predecessors. Unlike conventional ships that run on fuel, aircraft carriers are powered by nuclear reactors. These reactors provide a nearly limitless supply of energy. These reactors provide almost unlimited range, meaning the carrier can stay at sea for months or even years without needing to refuel. This capability is a game-changer, allowing the ship to project power across the globe without the constant need for resupply. All these features combined make the aircraft carrier not just a ship, but a floating fortress. It's a testament to human ingenuity and engineering prowess, designed to ensure that it can survive and thrive in the most hostile environments. So, the next time you see an aircraft carrier, remember that it's not just about the planes on its deck. It's about the incredible design and engineering that make it one of the most formidable vessels on the seas. Section 4 strength in numbers operational advantages now let's talk about how these carriers operate they don't just sail around by themselves an aircraft carrier is always escorted by a group of other ships forming what's called a carrier strike group this group usually includes destroyers cruisers and submarines all working together to protect the carrier the destroyers and cruisers provide additional anti-air and anti-ship firepower while the submarines lurk beneath the waves hunting for enemy submarines and ships this layered defense makes it incredibly difficult for an enemy to get close to the carrier, and even if they do manage to launch an attack, the carrier's escorts are there to intercept it. But it's not just about defense, the carrier strike group is also a powerful offensive force capable of projecting power around the globe. Section 5 Tested and True Real-World Proof of Concept You might be thinking, okay, that all sounds good on paper, but how do we know it actually works? Well, the U.S. Navy takes the survivability of its carriers very seriously. They put these ships through rigorous testing to make sure they can handle anything. We're talking about shock trials, where they detonate massive explosives underwater near the carrier to simulate a torpedo attack. And then there are live fire exercises where they shoot real missiles and artillery at the carrier to test its defenses. These tests are designed to push the carrier to its limits and identify any weaknesses. And the results speak for themselves. Despite decades of testing and real-world operations, 
No U.S. Navy aircraft carrier has ever been sunk in combat. Not one. Section 6, The Ever-Present Threat Anti-Ship Missiles. Now I know what you're thinking. Mike, you make these carriers sound invincible. Surely something can take them down, right? And you're not wrong to ask that. There's one big threat that keeps naval strategists up at night, anti-ship missiles. These bad boys are designed to sink ships, and they're getting more advanced all the time. Some of these missiles can fly at supersonic speeds, making them incredibly difficult to intercept. Others are designed to evade radar making them hard to even detect before it's too late. And then there are the hypersonic missiles. These things are in a league of their own, traveling at several times the speed of sound. Intercepting a hypersonic missile is like trying to catch a bullet with your teeth. So, yeah, anti-ship missiles are a serious threat. But here's the thing, the Navy knows this. They're constantly developing new technologies and tactics to counter these evolving threats. It's a never-ending game of cat and mouse.